So um, I have one final um, cytoid mechanism. Uh, not that one. Um, this one, sorry, this one here. I get rid of my previous cissoid. Now, this mechanism uh, involves an inverter. Um, that it's a, uh, it, we don't have the slider on a on a perpendicular line. It's more driven by a four bar linkage. Um, so let me create a couple of points, one here and one here. Um, and the four bar linkage is going to look like this. We're going to go um, down to here, we'll go out to here. Now we're going to come along with a line that goes through this fixed point B. So I'm going to use the uh, incidence constraint to make that happen. Um, and Another line that meets up the center of this one, there's a link coming from B to F. And then finally, we have a, um, a link that comes from D onto uh, this line here. This is kind of arbitrary length, so we'll, we'll drag it out there. Um, Okay, now these lengths have to be fairly, have to be um, uh, coordinated. Uh, a and B, this is from A to B is a particular length A, and the same length is uh, from A to C. No, that's not what I did, look at A. And then there's another length uh, here, which is B. Uh, because this was the center, then F to D is going to be B, and we want this length to be B also. And we would like this angle to be right. Um, and let's drive it with this crank angle here. And our curve is uh, drawn out by G. Let's get that curve. That's theta varies. Oh, that looks like a very familiar looking curve there. Um, we can uh, uh, watch it go. Oh, you'll notice it it's kind of turned itself inside out. Um, this gets halfway around. That's the problem with, with a, uh, a mechanism that goes through a, a completely flat phase as this one does. Um, okay, so what is the equation? Um, of the curve. And we see a similar um, uh, form of the curve has got an x cubed and xy squared, um, an x squared with something in there, and a y squared. Um, it takes a very particular form if b and a are actually the same. Uh, let's just make that happen. And you see we've got the, the form with the cusp at the origin. And let's just look at the equation. Of course, you could work it out algebraically by making A equal to B. Um, uh, but there uh, we have the uh, cissoid of Diocles once more. <laughs>